and uh, I would like to share with you something that I never seen. Um, it is quadruple call that happened in a game today uh, that was played on uh, Fox Co server between uh, Guzi Hao and uh, Xin Jin Zhao. So uh, Guzi Hao was playing white. And uh, we can see that opening is uh, pretty much AlphaGo style, and especially um, after this invasion and this move, uh, we can see the move that was played uh, by AlphaGo against Kyoje last year. And then there are actually a couple of variations, but I'm sure that uh, you already uh, know what, what can happen here. I will uh, refresh a bit, and uh, Black could simply play this way and it would be more against Moyo, but uh, probably white is a bit better here because white's uh, bottom side is looks bigger plus white has Sente and Komi. Uh, another option um, after this invasion would be to, to play Kema, but uh, probably uh, white was afraid that uh, black can cut and uh, this ladder actually it works for black. As we can see, it will go uh, to, to Blackstone, or it can simply ex escape uh, to the second line. Um, also, it could be something like this, also playable. And then, in the actual game, uh, White uh, decided to pin service stone, and uh, Black jumped. It is a natural move, and White played here. So, locally, uh, it, it is the same uh, as was played in Akyoje and uh, AlphaGo game, game 1 I think it was. So here, uh, for example, it could be uh, if black descends, then uh, white naturally jumps, and if they continue jumping, then we can see that uh, this wallet uh, Q3, Q4, it becomes very effective and uh, white is building something. Uh, however, uh, black can also later play something uh, on, on, on the left side, um, I'm not sure about the proper move here, and uh, let's go back anyway to the game. It was this move, same as AlphaGo played, and then uh, what could happen here? Um, if white uh, plays here, then black can simply extend, white blocks, uh, black pushes and uh, sacrifices one stone, white has to protect his cut, otherwise uh, if if white will simply capture this stone, then it is uh, easy f settlement uh, for black, uh, and uh, black is happy here. White uh, initially had a stone here um, in some sum and also pincer, so it is very good result for black. Then what else may happen? Uh, white can cut. Ah, sorry, I didn't show you one more variation about yes about this honey so uh, if white will uh, protect uh, this cut at e2 uh, which is proper move then black can simply honey and black is already settled because if white will honey then black will double honey and if white will uh, if white will atari this stone at c2 then black can simply jump and black looks uh, pretty dynamic and white looks a bit heavy and pressed down so black is uh, definitely better here. And then um, in a real game, in an in actual game it was uh, this move. Uh, then black extended and uh, this extend as you know is just to prevent white uh, to, uh, of connecting between these two stones. Then uh, white doesn't want to lose every stone, which means he doesn't want to give uh, an, an easy base uh, for black. And black uh, plays this move, uh, which is a shape move, normal hangma, and then why decided to play this wedge. Uh, this wedge is, we can see from this wedge that white creates two cutting points. Um, a, oh, sorry, I cannot mark this way, but it is obvious that it is uh, A and B. And uh, in actual game, Black connected here, then um, I think I should press view or maybe play. Okay, probably play. And then uh, white extended, black connected, uh, and then white cuts. So it is natural continuation. And now we can see that actually white 
um, made black heavy and uh, cut. So it is kind of a good result for, for white. This is what uh, white wants to get uh, once black invaded in his um, area of influence. And then we continue, uh, black connected here, and now uh, black threatens to capture one stone in a ladder or in geta. And then white decides to extend, it is the only move here. Uh, black extends as well, white extends. And then this move, that, uh, which threatens to cut the shape, so white has to protect, and there is a nice move, a 2-2. Two -two. Yes, now white is totally connected, and black has to jump out, uh, because he has no uh, space to build two eyes on the bottom side. And he doesn't even want to do it, because uh, that will mean that white will have a forcing move uh, to, to block this, this group inside, and then uh, to, to play around C12. Uh, so it, it would be too good for white. Then, what happened later, white also jumps out, because he doesn't want black to, to somehow, um, for example, some tanuki, and black can attack uh, severely these two stones, maybe even can uh, try to attach, but I'm not sure that this will work. Uh, <clears throat> but this attachment will make um, white group kind of heavy, and uh, it will be easier for black to get out. So white uh, realizes this and he just jumps. Uh, and still black has a problem because uh, he is split into two groups that do not have two eyes yet. And now uh, this is an exchange to get uh, to the left side. Uh, white extends, again to avoid uh, easy um, eye, eye shape for black. And black uh, continues to jump out. And now white already, since uh, white's corner is totally alive and safe, and white's uh, two cutting stones are already kind of uh, healthy, they have a lot of space to run in the center, white naturally starts to uh, attack uh, these uh, four stones. Plus, white has kind of thickness here, almost thickness, because white also has a forcing move in Joseki if he wants uh, to do it later. For example, to play uh, for example, white can simply connect, yes, white can simply connect, and then uh, it threatens to, to play Hane, so black can uh, either play here, or, uh, yes, I think this is the only move to play this way. Sometimes black may play here, but uh, in this case, uh, white can uh, sacrifice one stone, and then... Uh, play this honey for free, which will uh, make sense in Yose. Okay, uh, let's go back. So white attacks uh, these four stones, then uh, black uh, jumps out with uh, Ogema, interesting uh, shape. Um, this shape is actually trying to, to cut it. it. It demands uh, the cut, so white starts to make it more heavy, and black uh, extends one more time, and then this move. And now Black has an interesting plan. Um, Black decided to cut here. And White naturally took one liberty from Black, so Black will anyway lose this capturing grace. Um, because Black has four liberties, and White has also four liberties. Uh, but Black uh, has only two liberties with this one stone, so Black doesn't have time to take a liberty from White. Uh, the only move for Black is to extend here. And now uh, Black is threatening actually to connect with H2 group. So white uh, doesn't want that to happen, he pushes down, and uh, but again, uh, it's not that simple. Uh, black found some uh, variation here. So he plays Hane, then Atari, and then this move. And now white has to capture, and then uh, it is kind of co. Uh, uh, overall, black uh, wants to force white to capture these five stones. Uh, and now what happens in the game? Uh, white uh, blocks here, because white doesn't want to passively capture these stones, he, he tries to to, um, to pressure these two stones as well, because there is uh, a potential of um, uh, this Atari, and uh, later uh, of attack of this uh, wall. So, on the other hand, uh, white 
uh, why the second option is to build two eyes inside so he doesn't uh, need to capture these stones in Semedori. Uh, and then black descends one more time and white uh, plays this move uh, to prevent some complications and now black extends inside uh, saying that he won't allow white to build easy uh, two eyes here and white will uh, be forced to capture five stones anyway and now what happened uh, white wants to build one more eye but of course black won't uh, allow this to happen and now we can see on the bottom side that there is a shape already a uh, double call and uh, black plays forcing move it is okay and now a uh, combination um, Mm -hmm. Black has to, uh, white has to capture, otherwise it will be uh, Damazomari and black can uh, make a di direct call. And now uh, white takes one more liberty. So uh, and black actually is already connected on the bottom uh, because uh, I mean I mean there is a call. Uh, so black may play Tanuki and uh, this uh, capturing of this R7 is already uh, attacking with uh, four white stones. Uh, and then. White plays this Hane, and uh, but Black has uh, Tesuji here to play this Hane and then cut, uh, connect uh, this way, and uh, because of this Atari, White cannot extend uh, to P1 and cut totally, so White has to capture, and then Black has this move, and now White plays this move, and uh, this is actually the final position of the game, and we can see that it is only I don't know how many moves, but maybe 30 moves before the end of the game it is already this position and now let's see what happened so Atari when this capture uh, Atari again when this capture and now it goes back one two three four and now again same one two three four and then same back one two three four so actually I never seen uh, this kind of stuff it was uh, it was a big fun uh, all observers were laughing at this situation and uh, we can see that it, it, they just continue playing the same moves and uh, and finally uh, they agreed on uh, Jigo on a draw so it was the uh, first time in my life when I see uh, quadruple call it was very big fun and uh, just decided to share this in this video and thank you for watching guys see you later bye bye